Lancaster County School District is getting creative to crack down on an issue plaguing its middle and high schools. Our South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks explains why leaders are turning to cameras outside school bathrooms to put an end to vaping. Lancaster County School Safety Director Brian Vaughn says he wants parents to know that he's heard their complaints and their concerns about the rampant vaping in school bathrooms. It's something that's frequently come up in parent meetings. Vaping has become a significant issue across America. The FDA says in 2022, more than two and a half million U.S. middle and high school students used e-cigarettes. Lancaster County School Safety Director Brian Vaughn says the issue is plaguing both middle and high schools in the district. He's created a small task force of people who will watch restrooms for improper behavior. We're going to be employing some technology. There are mechanisms and detectors that you can put in a restroom to detect vape or THC uh, aroma, and, uh, and then it will send you a message, a text message back to an administrator. The devices, which cost about $1,200 a piece, will be placed in hotspots around area high schools. The next stop is conducting a week-long audit to determine how many vaping cases come from the schools to really assess the issue. We've had, just in the last two days, um, well, we confiscated about seven with one of our metal detector screenings uh, a couple of days ago between a couple of schools. And uh, we've actually confiscated a couple of vapes with THC cartridges in the last two days. Vaughn posted about the new initiative on Facebook with parents in support of the idea. One mom said, quote, my daughter can now use the bathroom in peace. Thank you. It's one of those things where you know, kids and parents, they want to be able to go into the restrooms and not be around it. And we understand that and we need to do all we can to make sure that that, that, that stuff's not being used on school grounds. The district says they hope to have the devices in the next three to four weeks. Their plan is to buy enough units to get a good sampling. They'll test them out in high schools first. And if the devices turn out to work well, then they'll move on to middle schools. For now, reporting in Lancaster County, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.